Hello children and welcome back to another story time. Today we're meeting a little girl who's looking for something fun to do with some animals. The Skipping Rope Snake by Carol Ann Duffy. The snake in the jungle spoke with a lisp, hung from a branch like a limp wrist, slithered hither and thither, hissed, slid out its fangs, whispering, Kith! to the lions and the tigers and the hippopotamus. The snake in the jungle snoozed in the dust, open wide when a mouse squeaked past, squeezed like a vice if it got the chance to cuddle up to the monkeys or orangutans. A little girl came walking in the jungle one day, looking high and low for a game to play. She tried join the dots on a leopard's spots, but her pencil jabbed and the cat got cross. She tried playing snap with a crocodile, but it just couldn't shuffle and she didn't like its smile. She tried playing pin the tail on an elephant, but she poked her pin, ouch, into its trunk. Then, Just when she was thinking coming here was a mistake, she saw, coiled on the ground, a skipping rope snake. Quick as a parrot squawk, she tied two knots, one at its end and one at its top. Then she skipped away, out of the jungle. Homeward bound, singing a jingle. Skipping home is a piece of cake when you've got your very own skipping rope snake. The snake was horrified, cross-eyed, tongue-tied, swished in the air with a whoosh like a whip, flicked on the ground with a squoosh like a skip. But the girl and the skipping rope snake skipped fast. Bye-bye rhino, bye-bye giraffe, bye-bye gorilla, bye-bye bats. Bye-bye lemurs, bye-bye big cats, I'm off home, make no mistake, I've got my very own skipping rope snake. That night, the little girl slept in her bed, jungly pictures filled her head, glowing tigers, the colour of carrots, turquoise hummingbirds, firework parrots, blackboard panthers with chalk white teeth, a swinging washing line of chimpanzees. And the snake in the playroom hung from a hook next to a teddy and a fairy tale book, dreaming of the jungle, talking in its kip, fangs for the memory. Skip, skip, skip. What would have been your favourite game and which was your favourite animal? Let me know and I'll see you next time for another story time. Take care. Bye.